please help me to welcome Mr. Greg Frazier. Thank you for that warm and, and really, really impressive uh, present, uh, introduction. Step, great job. And just so that you know, my son, that is the, uh, the hip hop artist, and renowned activist in the community, uh, his name is Kari. He's right there. He's the one with all the equipment here, the camera. Uh, actually shares this uh, equipment with the children here in Detroit. Kind of shows them how to use the equipment. So uh, for him to uh, grace our presence today is, is great. I had to pay him, but it's great. <laughs> yeah, we may have to sing for us, Kari. <laughs> OK, as Stephanie pointed out, uh, like many of you, I'm a certified public accountant, and I'm not going to repeat all of the other uh, credentials, so we're going to jump right into this because we do have a lot to go over. And the discussion is going to be about stock reports. And I'm going to, I'll ask some questions throughout. You know, these will be pretty easy questions. Feel free to, if you have questions for me during the presentation, at any given time, feel free to ask the question. We'll have someone with a mic that will get right to you and cover those questions. I promise you, there's not a question that you will ask that I don't know the answer to. And there is no such thing as a dumb question, but for the most part. Incidentally, I have a question for you guys. It would be a very complicated question, but if you pay attention, if you win, if you get the question right, well, let me just say this. How many people have heard of Bitcoin? Who hasn't heard of Bitcoin? Those of you that know about Bitcoin, who knows what the going rate for a Bitcoin is right now? How much? 400, you know, it was 400 like a few months ago. The going rate for Bitcoin right now is $610.60 a Bitcoin. And Doug, your Auditor General here, he looked at the budget and he said, whichever of my team can answer that complicated question that will come up later today, it's been authorized to award them with two Bitcoin. And you can do the math, $610 of Bitcoin, and you're going to get two of them. Whoever is aggressive enough to raise their hand, answer that complicated question that I'll ask later on, you'll be able to win. Any questions about that? Let's get started. Sock reports. Who has an idea of what sock means? I'll just cut right to the chase because that's why you're here. We're going to learn about them. Sock is the acronym for Service Organization Controls Reports. And the whole focus here is going to be about this uh, relationship of auditing to IT. So this is the agenda for today that we're going to get through. And that's why we do have a lot to get over, get through. Uh, we'll, we'll have a 10 minute break, about an hour into it, maybe five to 10 minutes. But we got a lot to cover. We're going to talk about the evolution of information processing and the evolution of, of auditing as it relates to uh, information processing. Uh, my career has provided me with a unique perspective on the connectivity between accounting and auditing and information technology. And what we're going to talk about is that evolution that's occurring in that connectivity and the relationship between those disciplines and what's happening right now. How many people have heard of Bugs Bunny? Who hasn't heard of Bugs Bunny? What about, and, and Bugs Bunny, who was Bugs Bunny's, like, nemesis or him? Who remembers? Don't be shy. Now, that's not the, that's not the question for the uh, Bitcoin, but. <laughs> who? Elmer Fudd. Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd. And what's interesting about that is Bugs Bunny was, was always, Elmer Fudd was always chasing Bugs Bunny down. And in a way, that's really what our profession as auditors and accountants has been with this information check technology. Our standard setters, the auditing standards boards and others, we're kind of like Elmer Fudd. We're constantly chasing Bugs Bunny 
so that we can perform our task. So, the, so that when we have an appreciation for the evolution of information processing, that's right in line with the evolution of what we go by as far as, as, far as auditing standards and procedures. We're going to talk about aspects of the SOC reports, service organization controls reports. Don't worry, we're going to cover what that is. But one of the aspects of SOC reports is what's known as a type 1 and type 2 reports. Don't panic. We're going to cover that, what they are. It's really easy. We'll talk about, given that you have these SOC reports, which a lot of you have, as auditors are going to have to address, because what is the state of Michigan doing right now, like most government agencies, in a way to manage costs, manage their budgets? For a lot of these departments and services, what are they doing? They're <clears throat> they're contracting out. They're outsourcing a lot of the services. And so what goes hand in hand with this is as auditors who are now tasked with having appreciation for the internal controls that support IT, we now have to look at if they're contracting their services out, third party assurance, some, some form of third party assurance as to whether or not we can rely on those controls, or we can rely on the operations that, that the service providers have. That's really going to be the focus of this presentation. So with SOC reports, and again, think of Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd. This is kind of a, except you know, we're a little better than Elmer Fudd because we do come up with ways to catch Bugs Bunny. But the SOC reports are ways to address uh, what's happening with the outsourcing of these IT services. So we're also going to talk about the shortfalls of SOC reports. We'll talk about how should auditors use SOC reports. When a service provider provides you with a SOC report, how do you use that SOC report? And then, this is a classic example of Elmer Fudd just about catching up with Bugs Bunny. And then Bugs Bunny scampers down a rabbit hole. And that is this whole issue with third party entities subcontracting work. So as soon as we have the kinds of, uh, the, the way to audit this whole process, we can now say to the service provider, okay, you know, we need these kind, we need a SOC report, a service organization controls report from you. As soon as that happens, we now have this challenge of that service provider saying, well, you know, a lot of the work that we do, we subcontract out, we subcontract it out to someone else. And we're going to talk about how to address those issues as well. Does that make sense so far, what we're talking about? And then finally, other means of acquiring sufficient third-party assurance. Anytime you have any questions, feel free to ask the questions, as I've stated earlier. But we're going to get started. Evolution of information processing. Can anyone, who, any, can anyone tell me what the diagram on the left is? Any ideas? Particularly baby boomers. Anybody? I'm sorry. What? 